Is that what we're portraying to the world? Are we the Pharisees? We can become like the Pharisees sometimes. So concerned with the outside of that cup or dish and inside we're just toxic. Anybody ever go inside your fridge and you're hunting for stuff and you're like, oh, here's something in the back of the fridge. Boy, that looks nice and clean and pure. I'm sure that it, what's inside is going to be yummy still that I had. You know, I don't need to check the expiration date. It's probably still good, right? And then you open it. You ever do this? Or do you just throw it away? I'll open it. Yeah, you guys do the sniff test? You don't do the sniff test? And you go, Oh, gosh! And you're like, Oh, man! What year did I put that in the fridge? Golly, that my nostrils are just burning. It's nasty. It's moldy. It's yucky. It's got white and green fuzz on it. It's disgusting. It's rotten. It's just been there. I'm going to... I feel something coming up in my throat. Rachel, here, take this quick. Oh, run outside with it. It's yucky, Killian. So yucky and toxic sometimes. Those things in the back of the fridge and that container. Boy, Daisy Cottage Cheese. I would like some of that on my tomato or whatever you put cottage cheese on. Yeah, I like to make pancakes with cottage cheese in it and the blender. Don't ask. The kids beg for them. It's really good. But then you pull out this stuff, Killian, and what would you say if you found this in the fridge? Ew. You want to eat that? Ew. Oh, here, try just a taste. Ew. It's yummy. Oh, 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 oh. Nasty, disgusting, moldy, fuzzy, yucky. And that's us. Sometimes when we have that toxic religion. <laughs> well, that's what Jesus says, isn't it? He? he said, you have lukewarm, lukewarm commitment to me. I want, feel like I have to vomit you out of my mouth. You, you are so disgusting with your toxic religion. It literally makes me sick. That's what he says in Revelation. Harsh words from the nice rabbi, teacher guy. Why is that green? Because it's yucky and filled with mold. Killian, <laughs> he's running away. Here, you want some? You want some? You want some? No. <laughs> Aki, do we don't want to be like the moldy cottage cheese in the back of the fridge, do we? But sometimes we are, Killian, if we have toxic religion, if we're so concerned with, our, with keeping up with appearances and we look so nice in our nice fancy church clothes and we do good things and we look at me, we don't pass the offering plate anymore, but the Pharisees, they used to say, look at me, look how much money I'm giving. Wow, I'm such a good person. Look, does everybody see? And what did the Pharisees do? They prayed loud prayers in public and they prayed in King James language, I think, too, right? Lord, what's the Heavenly Father? Pray is to thee, Heavenly Father, thou is thine kingdom is come, you know. And they're like, everybody listen to me on the street corner. Look how holy I am. I'm going to wear these long flowing robes the Pharisees did. Or we wear our church clothes and we say, look how spiritual, look how godly I am. If you wear nice clothes, that's fine. But we just got to check our hearts, see. The Pharisees, their hearts inside, Jesus says, were whitewashed tombs full of dead man's bones. Snakes. Vipers. Their insides were filthy, dirty, we could say moldy and disgusting. Even though on the outside they look nice. There's something nasty in the back of the fridge. And that can be us more than we would like to think. I'll put this away so Killian doesn't throw up over here. We've got to have that inward transformation. Not just the outward appearance, that's toxic religion. If we're so only focused, mainly focused on the outward appearance, Jesus hates toxic religion. And so I gotta take a second just to speak on this. I'm stuck in these habits that I can't seem to quit. I know there's a God, but I don't speak on Him enough. Life is full of poison, now it's seeping in my blood.